All right, today we are reviewing actually kind of a bourbon staple. Uh, so Four Roses here has been around since 1888. They actually started a few years prior to that and then acquired the name and you know officialized it back in 1888. So the story goes that uh, Paul Jones Jr. Uh, was very smitten with the Southern Belle lady. And she said, oh darling, would you please marry me? And she said, oh, I will see you at the ball and if I'm wearing a, a blouse full of roses or if I will, I will have four roses on me, if the answer is yes. So he goes to the ball and he awaits to see what she is wearing. And as you can guess it, she's wearing four roses. And so that's where the kind of the story ends. I couldn't find out if that was true, if they actually married or whatnot. But that's, that's the history behind the name Four Roses. Anyway, it was a very popular bourbon back in the day. Uh, and actually it was one of the most popular bourbons uh, until like the 50s. Uh, it was bought and sold a number of times. And then the brand went all the way over to Europe and kind of shut down production here in the United States uh, for unknown reasons. Probably the distillers and stuff found that their profit margins were a lot better in Europe and Asia on this brand than they were here in in the United States. Also, we know that bourbon kind of fell out of favor in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. It wasn't that popular of a spirit. Uh, it didn't actually come back until 2003 when some master distillers uh, got together with the owners, new ownership was purchased, et cetera, et cetera, trading hands, that it was officially came back to the United States in 2003 and brought us back Four Roses. And even though it's now only a renewed 20 year brand here, in, in the United States. It is again, also very, very popular. So cheers to Four Roses. And if you are hoping to get married, maybe ask your gal to show you if she wants to say yes to Four Roses as well. Maybe you get a bottle of her. That should be the deal. Anyway, cheers. Happy Whiskey Wednesday.